Okay, so I'm in a basement um, situation where we're um, looking at a furnace replacement. So as, as far as uh, we need a forerunner, um, you see the stairs. Once we get to the top of the stairs, it's a left turn um, entry door. Um, and we'll keep that uh, forerunner down. And then we transition into ceramic. And then we're into a utility um, area. So we're fine. So uh, forerunner, forerunner, ceramic tile, and then the wooden floor on the stairs in the entryway. And then as far as the furnace is concerned, um, we're just tucked around the corner. It's an 80% efficient furnace. You can see the five inch flue pipe that's coming down. That's feeding both uh, uh, four inch for the water heater and then four inch for the furnace as well. This is a carrier furnace and it is like short. It's like 33 and a half inches tall we put in the four ton uh, AC and coil a year ago so we're probably I hate to say it um, to fit the furnace underneath we may need to bump that coil up we do have the height um, but yeah it's 33 and a half to get underneath that coil sea width um, just pop around this side here being a four ton unit um, and not being able, well, I'm going to leave it up to you. If you can, if we can get the um, furnace underneath the coil, um, we'll come back with a um, new return drop, put a transition piece between the media filter. We've got 11 inches, you can see, on the side there. Um, I guess the other option is if we have to um, bump the um, coil up, we might as well come back with a base and then um, you know we can go with a you know, media filter at the same time with the base um, may not need that transition piece I'm gonna leave it up to you I'm gonna get the height for a new um, return and then also you know if we need a base bring it out may not need it just depends if we can get that furnace underneath uh, that's it. Uh, there's a there is a humidifier you can see that's attached on the side of the plenum. That's it.